please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Sumi has reported its Q1 numbers. The margins are in line and net profit has come above estimates. Vivek Chan Segal, chairman of the Madhusan Sumi Group, now joins us. Uh, Mr. Segal, good afternoon. In your presentation, you say that the 24% revenue growth is adjusted for startup costs and you incurred 15 million euro startup costs this quarter. Will it continue in the upcoming quarters or has everything been adjusted in this quarter? Revenues have been uh, have gone up 24% year on year, but the uh, main differential is the new accounting standard, uh, which is there in the uh, uh, slide number four and five of the presentation, uh, which by law we have to now change to in, in AS 115. Uh, so in that sense, the revenues have been uh, downstated. And uh, what we have done so that everybody understands and compares it to last year, We've given you both the, uh, uh, the thing, uh, how do you say, it? both the numbers, the numbers with uh, the end AS and as if uh, we had uh, followed our last year uh, presentation. So on that basis, 24% uh, uh, consolidated revenues have gone up. Uh, last year, the numbers, for example, uh, was uh, uh, 12,987. Uh, 12, this year is 14,583. But uh, had we taken 1543, which is uh, the uh, differential because of India's, uh, in AS accounting standards, uh, the number would have been 16106. Okay, got that point, sir. Yes, India's 115 is, of course, really changing PNL across different sectors. Now, uh, for you, growth rates in SMR have also come down. Revenue, from what we see, is up just 1%. Uh, EBITDA is up 2%. I, I want to understand if, if you look at the right numbers, or is there here also some kind of an NDS impact, or is this an order slowdown issue? The key point is that uh, we have not at any point said that SMR is going to keep on growing incessantly. They have an uh, optimized uh, particular level where they are. They have about 26, 27% of the global market share. Now, whatever we increase the top line will be at the cost of the bottom line. We are growing in so many other aspects as well. So we don't think that we have to pursue the top line just because uh, you know uh, everybody gets excited by that. I think the Miller company is doing phenomenally well. Uh, even though the revenue is you know, 1% up, EBITDA is up 2%, their ROAS has gone to almost 48%, which is fantastic. So we, we believe that uh, every growth that's going to take place in Madhusan is not necessarily in a particular vertical per se. It normally will come through acquisition, new uh, uh, content per car going up in a car, and things like that. So we think that somewhere down the line, uh, we've been trying to explain this to all our uh, shareholders, and I think they understand it very well, that Madhusan is all about content per car and not about one particular company going incessantly or just after market share. Okay, getting back to the original question, the SMP business impacted due to uh, startup costs, uh, 15 million euros versus 12 mil million euros. Has all of it been adjusted uh, in this quarter's PNL or will there be more startup costs? In the last three years, we have put into uh, place 21 new plants. As far as we are concerned, kind of order book that we guided you last quarter, we're almost done with our new plants and things like that. So these startup costs are all going to start coming down, really, in the coming quarters. Uh, as new models come in, well, the uh, startup cost is there, but that has already been written off from our profit and loss account. So the, the point that we are trying to explain to you is that with a company as complex as Madhusan Sumi, multiple uh, uh, divisions are growing at a particular thing, new plants are coming in, those plants have startup costs just so that we can make it a kind of a, a understanding line so that all the investors can understand that. But uh, uh, as far as we are concerned, we are very conservative. We, we write off all the startup costs completely. So we're not sort of taking it to our balance sheet either. So another European company that you acquired, PKC, that seems to be doing really well for you. Revenue growth 17%, EBITDA growth 40%. Uh, so is this something sustainable? What is your anticipation from the PKC business? We've been saying it for the last one year that PKC, you know, was totally uh, uh, an asset which was a, uh, uh, it was like a gift to Mother Son. Because think about it, you know, they have a standalone rose of 7%. 
and uh, uh, mothers on, on a standalone basis for wiring harness could go plus uh, 55, 60 percent. So that gap is now trying to show in just one year, the team has done a phenomenal job. Uh, the revenues are up because the trucking cycle in America is doing much better. But you can see the real difference happening in the uh, uh, EBITDA, PAT, and PBT. Uh, they're all uh, fantastic numbers and absolutely coming very close to what we, what we were talking about. I think uh, 2020, we should be coming very close to uh, 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 35, 40 percent uh, uh, rose over there. So uh, very, very excited and uh, very uh, glad that uh, PKC uh, is doing so well. The S&P margin is 6.6% versus 8% year on year. Now, I understand some part of this is because of startup costs. But once everything is on stream, are we looking at double digit margins? Yeah, definitely. You see, I think uh, once the plants uh, 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 fluctuate and they actually start uh, producing on a normal basis, uh, the numbers start looking up and uh, could go to the uh, double digit numbers uh, as as we all hope but uh, I think you know uh, this is the second thing uh, uh, which is very important for you, uh, the people to understand our job is to give mothers and sumi systems a 40 percent plus rows uh, it's not that every vertical we have to look at that kind of a margin improvement and things like that the totality of the whole thing should be giving uh, uh, the investors the confidence that Motherson will deliver a plus 40% uh, kind of rose. So that's the whole idea. Not all businesses can deliver that kind of rose, but in a cumulative basis, it's very, very important for us uh, to ensure that they're moving in the right direction. So SMP is a very capital heavy uh, kind of thing. So the rose is always uh, a little bit under pressure. But uh, definitely, uh, overall scheme of things, uh, it does fit in very, very well. Okay. Sir, uh, let's just talk about the standalone business as well. What kind of growth do you see for this in the current year? Uh, are there any headwinds like uh, perhaps higher input costs? Could that be a deterrent? Or in case there is an increase in uh, raw material prices, will you just pass it on? I think our uh, standalone business has done well. Uh, there are uh, certain challenges. I think the raw materials have gone up and uh, adequate uh, 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 provisions have been made. But uh, we are on the conservative side. So I would still uh, say wait for the whole year numbers to come and then you will see a better uh, performance on the standalone as well. Uh, I think uh, uh, there is a little bit of confusion, but they will all uh, sort of come out. Uh, most of our uh, uh, supplies in India are uh, more on the passenger vehicle side where the axle load and all that thing doesn't affect too much. But uh, uh, by and large, uh, we are very happy with what uh, the standalone is delivering. Uh, it includes uh, wiring harness, it includes plastic parts and things like that. Uh, most of that has got no connection really with uh, the axle uh, uh, kind of a problem in the commercial vehicle side or the confusion which is there. But yes, the numbers would uh, come down a bit, a little bit, but I. You know, you have to take it in the stride. You have to take it in the stride.